1.1 first question question is that here is that whether the following statement are true or false first question a given every rational number is an integer no every rational number is not integer because one by two is the rational number but that is a not integer so this is the false b given every whole number is rational number yes every whole number is a rational number because all whole number contain in the rational number now you see c question given minus 12 by 6 is positive yes because numerator and denominator both are negative so it is also true d given hmm. the quotient x by y is the rational number if y is zero no it is false because see why it is the false because we know that rational number defined as p by q where q is not zero but q is even here zero so it is the not rational number not defined second question Identify the following positive or negative. So I told you know already, boys. If numerator and denominator have same sign, either negative or positive, then that is the positive rational number. If either numerator or denominator is negative, out of both one is negative, then that is the negative rational number. So see here given question. A given twenty three by Minus five. C boys. Numerator. The numerator is positive. Denominator is negative. So this is the negative. B. Eleven by thirty-three. Both positive. So this is positive. Eleven by thirty-three. This is the positive. Given minus twelve by minus twenty seven. See here, boys. Both are negative. So I told both having same sign then positive. So this is also positive. Now see question number third. But if you take given rational number into lowest form, first question. 124 by minus 16. 1 by 24 by minus 16. How can convert into into the lowest form or standard form? I tell you, if divide numerator and denominator by their LCM, then you can get the reduced form or standard form of the rational number. So, SCF of sixteen and one hundred twenty-four. Fine. You divide one hundred twelve. Now I see. Question number three, given one hundred twenty-four by sixteen. Write its standard form, reduction its standard form. So first you divide it by one hundred twenty-four divided by four, and sixteen also divided by four. You will get. Three thirty one and this minus four. Now see why? Why? Here is no any common factors between thirty one and four. So this is the standard form or lowest form of the given rational number one hundred twenty four by minus sixteen. Now see why? Question number four. Write three given rational number by 
are each of the following. Food. A. That is given. 7 upon 12. 7 upon 12 multiplied by 2 with numerator and 2 with denominator that is 14 by 24. This is the first equivalent rational number of 7 upon 12. Second it is 7 into 3 by 12 into 3 is equal to 21 upon 36. And this is the second equivalent rational number. Third, 7 into 4 by 12 into 4 is equal to 28 by 48. Hence, equivalent rational number of 7 upon 12 is 14 upon 24, 21 upon 36, 28 upon 48. Now see one question from fifth also. C fifth. Fourteen by minus sixty-three is equal to there is fill in the box. Here box in this box we have to fill and denominator given nine is equal to minus eighteen by in box you have to fill. To solve this type of question, you put in the box x. Yes. So, 14 upon minus 63 is equal to x upon 9. Cross multiply minus 63 into x is equal to 14 into 9 is equal to x is equal to 14 into 9 upon minus 63. 9 cut minus 63 minus 7 times minus 7 cut 14 minus 2 times so minus 2 coming to fill here minus 2 now take first and last for filling the blanks this is square so 14 by minus 63 is equal to minus 18 by box made here by box next cross multiply 14 x is equal to minus 63 into minus 18 or x is equal to minus 63 into minus 18 divided by 14 cut by 7 here coming minus 9 here coming to cut 18 minus 18 minus 9 time that is 9 minus 9 into minus 9 is 81 now here it can be 81 this way you can fill in the box now I see question number 6 and question from here also first given 12 by 5, you have to fill here which is greater or which is smaller. 15 by 8. Now I can how can compare the rational number. I have told you how can compare the rational number. You convert both rational number into that rational number whose denominator are same. So LCM of 5 and 8 is equal to 40. So 12 by 5 convert into those rational number whose denominator is 40. Then 40 divided by 5 coming 8. 12 into 8 96 by 40. Now convert 5 by 8 into those rational number which denominator is 40 that is denominator is 40 division going in 40 by 8 5, 5 times 15 into 5 is equal to 75 75 by 40 
Now you compare the numerator. Which numerator is greater? That is greater. So 96 by 40 is greater than 75 by 40. Thus we can write 12 by 5 greater than 15 by 8. This way you can compare any two rational number to convert them into equivalent rational number whose denominator are same. Now we can see that question number 7 arrange in the ascending order. Arrange following rational number into ascending order. Question given first 3 by 10, 7 by minus 15, minus 11 by 20, 57 by 30. This is your question. And you have to arrange this question into ascending order. What do you do? Convert all rational number into equivalent rational number whose denominator are same. So first you find LCM of 10, 15, 20, 30 is equal to 60. You can find its LCM. That is coming 60. So 3 by 10 convert into that rational number whose denominator is 60. 60 divided by 10 is 6. 3 into 6 is equal to 18 by 60. Now take 7 by minus 15. Its denominator also becomes 60. Then minus 60 right here. 7 into 4. 28 by minus 60. Now you take 11 by 20 is equal to here right denominator 60 60 divided by 20 3 times division by minus 11 into 3 is equal to minus 33 by 60 and last 57 by 30 is equal to its denominator also becomes 60 and numerator is 100 14. Now compare its numerator then this is the smallest number because this is the negative so right minus 3 by 60 is the smallest and then you write 28 by minus 60 then write 15 by 60 and last 114 by 60. This is written in the increasing order. Write its original rational number then first minus 33 upon 60. That is equal to minus 11 upon 20 is less 7 upon 15, 7 upon minus 15, that is less than 3 upon 10, and last 57 upon 30. The given numbers, given rational number, arrange into ascending order. This is in ascending order. If any other question given, write in descending order, then first you write largest and then you write the smallest. It means you write in decreasing order. Here you are writing increasing order, there you write the descending order. When asking, write the following rational number into descending order. So you that time you have to write in decreasing order. Here you are writing increasing order, there you have to write increasing. 